respondents to our question of the week, uh, which uh, asked whether uh, the audience felt that uh, the best person was chosen for the job, chosen for the job, they seem to think that uh, that the answer is no. Well, maybe because uh, people did not want to look at how the world is organized. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the institution of Britain Woods were created in order to serve the interest of uh, uh, of the Western Western world. So we are not there yet as Africans to think that you know we can have somebody to lead the you know the World Bank. So when I I was reading the news and people were saying that uh, Ngozi was going to be there. You know, I did not pay any mind to that because I did not believe that she was going to be there. Because the president of America has nominated somebody for sure that that person was going to lead the World Bank. That was my position. And then, but to note that uh, she wasn't qualified for the job. No, it's not. No, I won't say that she was not qualified. That's not the issue. The issue is about how, if you read the Clash of Civilization and you know how the world is organized how the international co community driven by the international uh, uh, by imperial powers, how in the field of, of, of justice, in the field of finance, in the fields of politics, you will see that you know, they organize the world to put the people they want in order to advance the interests of the Western world. Paul, what about you? I know that uh, you know uh, the African candidate rather well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't surprised uh, because uh, when you look at the culture of these uh, Bre uh, Bretton Woods uh, institutions, uh, they have traditionally picked an American. Uh, actually, the person uh, who becomes the uh, the World Bank president is usually nominated by the president of the uh, United States. So I wasn't surprised. The fact that uh, Okonjo Iwela actually, when you look at her credentials, he was more fit to be the president of the of the World Bank. But uh, I think uh, some of these jobs, when it comes to that level, they are not usually on merit. It's more politics than merit. So she pretty much uh, was really perhaps the best person for the job in your view and perhaps in the view of the majority of the African audience on paper. Yeah, absolutely. When you look at what she brings to the table, obviously she's more qualified than all, any of all those other candidates who are being considered for the job. Number one, she has worked at the World Bank, at the IMF for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, not only did she work, uh, she worked her way up from just being a, a, an economist to senior high-level positions. She has also been a Minister of Finance in Nigeria. The first time she was elected, uh, uh, appointed as a Minister of Finance in Nigeria, she really brought that country back. Uh, to, to, uh, to, to a point where they had to, uh, to even to forgive their debt. Thank you very much. Let's go to uh, Frank. What about you, Frank? Or what is your immediate reaction to the appointment of uh, the new World Bank president? Fair? Um, I think uh, that uh, I'm very glad that uh, they recognize that uh, African are qualified and they can do the job. And I'm very glad of that. So what about the and fact that uh, you had interviews? Uh, are you suggesting that uh, these interviews, at least from what some of the panelists have said, uh, were merely meant to take the three people through the motion? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I think that uh, uh, she's, uh, she's a woman who She's qualified, you know, and they, because she occupied this, uh, some odd uh, just function in Nigeria. And uh, I see, in my point of view, of view I know that uh, she's able and that she has the capacity just to, to do the job. And uh, it's, a, it's a good thing for, for Africa that uh, someone in Africa can do the job. So basically, you had uh, to deal with the political reality uh, because uh, uh, since the Britain was institution is in fact, I think back in 1944, uh, the really president of the World Bank has always, always been an American. Oh yes, uh, look what happened. Just uh, Obama became a president. You know, things uh, are changing and. Uh, I think we have just to, to look at that direction, that the things are changing all over the, the, the world. And uh, I'm very glad what happened to, to that woman. And uh, I'm proud because I'm uh, just African.